Uh, so at around uh, midnight, I was able to fall asleep, with me getting roughly three and a half hours of sleep. Waking up at around 3.25 a.m. Around 5 a.m., I had some of the magic trail mix Dad got for me. And I also had a tiny little bit at around 9 in the morning. Roughly 9 in the morning or so, which is the time I recall is roughly when I went to, when I decided to go to the tower building in order to work on my color wheel. I stayed there until about 11 a.m. And there's me successfully completing two shifts of 35 minutes. Although, well, that was for when I was working on the shoe. To let me know when to wet the clay. Here I am hoping that the next daily exclusive isn't a building I don't already have. I'm not sure of how likely I am to I have too many supplies and I'm going to uh, accept some deals from the wholesaler in order to get some crystals and some silk. The crystals are so I can... Oh! Oh, I had forgot about that. I got that as part of what I was negotiating a whole lot. <laughs> On my way to the tower building for that first session of working on my color wheel, I encountered an old professor of mine. I'm now neck and neck in terms of Mountain Halls versus Dwarven Bulwark. I recently completed an upgrade on the Marshall Monastery, thus slightly increasing how much health my troops have. I encountered an old professor of mine from my police process class. At least, I think that one might be the only class I had with him. Hmm, but I could also be mistaken on that. I'll have to double check my degree audit. Uh, having those extra buildings that produce 
goods has ended up benefiting me quite a bit. Anyway, it was a pr pretty brief conversation, maybe lasting about a minute. Though during that time I showed him the new styrofoam I made. <sighs> at around 8, somewhere between 7 and 8 in the morning, with me finishing it at 8.35 in the morning. It was a small piece and I used that occasion to open up all the new markers they had got for me some time ago. And I have to say it produced a very good result. I had a pretty big lunch, so I got a relatively smaller dinner. I was excited by all those special Passover friendly options they had at Thursday Dining Hall for lunch and for dinner. Although I didn't get everything. A second time in a row. I did some work on the 99th Dan Hamming. I'm very grateful be that I did decided to do that morning work on the color wheel. I actually was gonna go do some more work on it. I made it all the way to the tower building again before I got a message reminding me of the personnel committee meeting today. That's usually at 5 p.m. But got pushed back by five minutes. And thank goodness for that. Because otherwise I would have been late. And at lunchtime, I carried my stuff in that Virginia is for lovers bag. I was going to decide to get some energy drinks. I was on the fence on it because they already had so much stuff in that bag. But then I noticed that there was a big tear in the bag. I have no idea if it was already there. It was pretty well camouflaged by... Excuse me. By the strap, so to speak, in a sort of way. The chair was kind of near and concealed by the strap. I gave a little yelp of shock when I noticed it. And that's what pushed me to decide not to get any energy drinks at the nest, not to make a quick stop there.
Hmm. I can potentially place... Excuse me. The Mountain Hall's Ancient Wonder here. Thankfully, despite nearly a week passing, because I covered the paint with that special lid, the paint hadn't dried out yet. I initially used something that was very similar to this for the paint washer container, but then I eventually noticed and used a proper paint washer container instead, because when I had that little container, I could only realistically do one or two tints or shade. I actually labeled the whole thing T for tint and S for shade uh, just to ensure that I kept the whole thing consistent. And for the most part, the paint does eventually the paint covers up pretty much right away. So no harm done and just a precaution to ensure I do it the right, the right way. I did some looking around on Blackboard. I got a nearly perfect score on my national security midterm. An A minus on my ceramic shoe, not counting the Possibility to bump that up to an A with probably just a bit more effort. And for my African politics class, I generally get pretty good grades. I got a 100. And 33 out of 150 on the midterm for that class. And I believe that's an 88. Yeah, to be exact, 133 divided by 150 is 0 0.88666667. Today, I initially had... My pool test scheduled for 2 p.m., but again, because I only got a few hours of sleep, this was me waking up naturally, because my sleep schedule is a bit messed up right now. I ended up getting tired. At around one, because even after getting at work on the art project, I still had to walk back to Eagle, though I didn't make a stop at Eagle. I specifically went. 
to Harrison Dining Hall. I fell asleep around 1 p.m. ish. Woke up around 2.30 p.m., I would say. So I rescheduled my pool test for the same day at 2.40 p.m. Due to supply chain issues, the test is now different in that you have to spit into a container. It was only a small amount of spit. And while this new test is still non evasive, now I don't have to worry about getting a false positive due to accidentally touching my teeth while swabbing my cheeks on the old test. I think the new one takes more time. Now they had to uh, switch up the pool testing area to add in some privacy booths. Though, at the time, I think it was mildly dehydrated. And prior to me learning of that... Of that, um... That personnel committee meeting today. I was planning on drinking from a bathroom sink. To hydrate myself. But because I had to go back to. Eagle Hall. I instead had a bottle of. Splash Water, which is a brand of flavored water. I took the opportunity to mention my idea for making a series of videos with Vyond so we can discuss some um, inform the student body of some important topics. I'm not entirely sure of those topics yet, but I'll do my best to ensure Specifically said, whatever's relevant to the student body, whatever issues are relevant to them. Most definitely the ongoing pandemic. Something about transportation probably. Maybe something on the uh, SU rating option, slash policy, the class that's got me the most concerned is Intermediate Spanish 2.
Well, this is how I did on the first quiz. I'm assuming those were supposed to be the subjunctive. I think number four, that was in the preterite tense, it would seem, not the subjunctive. Oddly enough, I thought that whole quiz was going to be basically on the subjunctive. I found out that the quiz in Spanish tomorrow in Mark days is going to be on reading, listening, and writing comprehension. So there's no super easy way to prepare for it, but I can still prepare by doing Duolingo lessons, learning the vocab, so I can do better on the writing. The basic rule, you should only try to do what you know. My way to the tower building, I encountered an old student that I believe I first encountered during my freshman year. He was he, but she transitioned into a she. But I encountered this student multiple times in the past. So I still recognized her. I also recognized that old professor from earlier And me and that student, we had a pretty brief encounter. Uh, this student noticed that that I had uh, gained some weight in in the maybe year or so since she last saw me prior 
to today's brief encounter, despite a significant vision impairment, a more severe, much significantly more severe than mine, uh, to the level of basically only being able to see shadows. The closest I could probably come to comprehending that would probably be the beginning when I saw that TAC commercial about seatbelts. It was titled, What Hurts Most? Presumably, this um, man either severely fractured his eye sockets or severely crushed his eyes in a car accident when he didn't wear a seatbelt. And so he was almost completely blind and... He wore glasses just like these, except one of the lenses were shaded. Which I, which I presume was to help him see, but maybe it's supposed to enhance the shadows. And then there was also that there, my that Rainbow Dash Mascot costume comes to mind. I didn't go trick-or-treating last year due to the ongoing pandemic. My dad uh, told me not to go trick-or-treating and it didn't seem like many people would be giving out candy due to the ongoing situation. My response to the students' observations were to say that the thing about putting it on weight is you can always put it off. To which she responded, not always. Most of the time. And I also said that it was, this is my last undergrad semester. And then I'm thinking of staying here for graduate school. Though... I'm beginning a if, excuse me, a master's degree in public administration. I'm not sure how useful that would be in terms of going to law school. Versus immediately going to law school or something like that. I believe the degrees I'm going to be getting are the two degrees of Bachelor's of Science in Criminal Justice and Political Science. I 
I remember spending at least a couple of hours doing, working on that brief part where Dan Hamming walks towards the broken window at outside of the convenience store. Me trying to emulate that firearm behind Dan Hamming is uh, it's created quite a few complications, but there are complications I'll do my best with. I repeatedly had to go into Lunapig. In order to create all those face props, those, all those custom props with Dan Hamming's face. So I could use those props to cover up the butts of the firearms sticking out, essentially.